All right, we are back, boys. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 5, Part 2. Let's see what we can do. Actually, that kind of rhymes. Speed Duel Tournament, part, uh, tournament Pack Part 2. Let's see what we can do. I did screw it up, of course, but it does rhyme. Let's see what we can do here, guys. All right, so, yes, we're going for Ultra Rares, obviously, but we're also trying to get as many Heat Waves as possible because that is the money card in the set. Actually, it is the most expensive card in the set, and it's a common, and it's incredibly hard to get. Okay, well, I guess not that hard to get. First pack, Heat Wave, let's go. <laughs> All right, we need we need a shit ton of these though. So, just seeing one ain't enough. We need to keep going, persevering, powering through it. Let's go, Faustian bargain, Yomi ship, and a volcanic, volcanic shell. Hell yeah, volcanic shell. I really do like the stick of volcanics. Um, but again, it just they need way more support. Even with the the new ish support that they got, I guess it's it's been a year, hasn't it, since the release? Uh, they're still not that good, unfortunately. Iron draw. Hey, there we go. Love to see it. And oh, look at that plasma vice, my boy, my boy coming to me. Elemental hero, plasma vice. So if you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite heroes. Cause I mean, look at the boy. He's golden, he's blue, he's electric as fuck, and his effect, I mean, it's not that good, actually. It's not, look at his, don't look at his effect. Just uh, look at his raw power, you know? Effect is not, does not matter. Effect not important. Dragon's Rebirth, we got a Drilago. All right, that's pretty old school. Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. Actually, the, the foil is pretty nice just because uh how it hits her little... Uh, well, I guess it's an amethyst, huh? The jewel is an amethyst. Makes sense. A major upset, Light Force Sword. Really weird inclusion, I, I feel, because... I mean, Speed Duel... I think Speed Duel has a weird way... A weird rule on drawing. So I might be okay, but I don't know. I still don't know if uh, that's worthy of a term tournament pack... Inclusion, you know what I mean? And there we go, another Life Force Sword. Dark Red Enchanter, and then Goddess of the Third Eye. Which is also kind of a weird uh, inclusion, in my opinion, because... I mean, are, are people using it in Speed Duel? Maybe they are. In which case, uh, disregard. You guys know more, more than I do, for sure. Diamond Dude. Diamond Dude Turbo. Let's go. Sword... Of the Dragon Soul Book of Moon, actually, Book of Moon is pretty hard to um, to come by in the set as well. But it's not that expensive. It has been printed way more than Heat Wave. I swear, like I talk about Heat Wave and I get Heat Wave. Let's keep talking about Heat Wave. <laughs> Twin Headed Behemoth and then an Exploder Dragon. Twin Headed Behemoth is that good? Or was it me as a kid trying to make it good? Kind of always have trouble remembering, right? Because as a kid, I mean, even as an adult, I'm pretty thick-headed, right? And if I liked a card, I was going to use the card. So I don't know if the card itself was good or uh, just part of my strategy, if you will. Because, yeah, I used it. I definitely used one headed Behemoth in a deck. I just... Again, don't remember if it was actually good or if it was me being a dumbass. Anyways, Exploder Dragon. I wonder what Exploder Dragon is doing as well. I don't think I've ever seen a deck use Exploder Dragon. Iron Drum, Goddess of the Third Eye. Okay, okay. I see you. There should be five different Ultras, and we've only seen Wild Heart Bend. Oh. Actually, we've seen four of them. Wild Heart Ben 10, Plasma Vice, and Wall of Disruption. So there's one more. Kind of curious what it is. Hopefully, hopefully it's a monster. It's just because, um, you know, spells and traps don't usually do well. But uh, we got Wall of Disruption. Decent pull, actually. This is a pretty good staple. I'm unsure. To be honest, if it's banned or, you know, on the restriction restricted list, but uh, if it's not, I mean, hell yeah, pick this up. It looks pretty nice. 
And it, like I said, it's, a, it's just definitely a staple in the Speed Duel world because of the nature of Speed Duel. You do not start the game with 8,000 life points, for example, and you do not want to lose life points because you are already at a such a low um, low range, right? Because you, obviously you lose the game when you hit zero and you start the game with 4,000 less life points. Anyways, Destiny Hero, Diamond Dude, the dude himself. I love this foiling. I really do wish it was an ultra rare though, because, I mean, there was a whole deck named after him, first of all, and he would have looked really nice as an ultra rare, and I don't think it has been printed as an ultra rare, but I could be wrong. I think the only printing it has is ulti, rare, super... And maybe a secret rare, but I don't think it's been printed as an ultra rare. Hammer shots, the first one we've seen this opening. All right, all right. Usually I see Hammer Shot and Jinzo together though, so I mean that's a first. Yomi ship, and another diamond dude. Dude, where's my car? I guess I should say, dude, where's my heat waves at, bro? Come on, bro. Yeah, wild tornado, Faustian bargain. And then Ancient Gear Beast, 2000 attack on a level 5, interesting. Usually Ancient Gear cards cannot be uh, special summoned, so Heat Wave, hell yeah. Let's go, that's number 4. And Machine Angel Ritual. Kind of odd to make Machine Angel Ritual a super rare, because the, all the other super rares are kind of generic for the most part. Except that one. Sphere, Karibo, Jar of Greed, hell yeah. Am I being greedy here, guys? Let me know, because I don't know, actually. I, I, I don't know. I couldn't think of a of an out for that one. Jinzo, Drilago, and another Ancient Gear Beast. Looks nice, actually, though. The, the artwork is nice. The card itself is probably not that good, just because, you know, it's a level 6, like I said, but... Uh, Book of Moon, Sinister Serpent, hey, there we go, Plasma Vice, see, why couldn't we pull more evil hero uh, Dark Gaia from our previous openings instead of more Plasma Vices, but uh, you know what, it's, it's alright, it's alright, it's one of my favorite heroes, I cannot complain about that one, but uh, Maybe one one more wild heart would be nice. Sinister Serpent. We got a dark red enchanter. Volcanic Shell. Okay. That's three this opening. Let's see. Maybe I feel like we can do two more ultra rares. I think that would be about, you know, the uh, par with the spreads. But uh, we would we shall see. Jar of Greed. Alright, a couple more heat waves would also be nice. Wild Tornado, a major upset, another Diamond Dude. Hell yeah, man. Now, is that the only super rare hero? Yes, it is. Tournament Pack 6 had way more hero cards for sure. Hey, there we go. Hey, we asked and we received Wild Heart. So seriously, what the hell is the last ultra rare? Do I have to look it up? Do I have to? Elemental Hero Wild Heart in his glory, though. Uh, dude, those tattoos. I ain't, I, I'm not a tattoo guy, but the shiny, uh, the shininess of the card makes those tattoos pop. So I, I will, I will take it. All right. Let's see. Heat wave. Let's go. Wild tornado. I mean, speaking of heat waves, it's been pretty damn hot in my area. So, I guess I'm getting my heat wave in a different way. Way. Nah, mean. We got Sword of the Dragon, Soul, Seven Tools of the Bandit, and then another Ancient Gear Beast. Okay, so what does he do? I gotta, I gotta know. Cannot be special summon, like I said. Yeah, this card attacks. Your opponent cannot activate any spells or trap cards until the end of the damage state. Step. Negate the effect of any of an opponent monster destroyed by battle with this card, including in the graveyard. Actually, that ain't bad in Speed Duel. You know, I take that back, actually. So it's basically a wild heart. 
it is not a level four, so you know you have to tribute something and you cannot special summon it, so there's also that restriction. But it also negates stuff in the graveyard it destroys. So it's no, it's actually pretty decent. I take that I take that back actually. I should start reading these cards, bro. I should definitely start reading Faustian Bargain. Ojama Blue. Ojama Blue though, I know the effect and it's not that good. Maybe as a stall. Although actually, you know what? I take that back as well, because there's a fusion Ojama card that basically makes um your opponent's board is useless because there's in speed tool you only have three monster zones and the ojama uh fusion will use up those all those zones so yeah like good luck getting getting monsters out when you can't summon monsters i take that back floodgate trap hole I'm, I'm eating a lot of my words this opening exploder dragon all right we got about 10 packs left we can do this one more Ultra, maybe. Iron Draw. We got a Heat Wave. I was going to say maybe a couple more Heat Waves. And then we got Jar, the Jar Boy himself, Jar Greed. Heat Wave. I might buy another uh, box of this, actually, because we did pull a decent amount of Heat Waves. I ain't going to lie. Floodgate Trap Hole and a Volcanic Shell. Now, I do say we pulled a decent amount of Heat Waves, but I still feel like that's low compared to the other commons so Trilago, desert twister and then goddess of the third eye third eye lady third eye blind cool a major upset dark red enchanter and oh yeah that as soon as i saw him, i'm like yeah that's correct it's destiny and dragoon oh the boy not not my favorite I guess technically he's not a hero because he's Destiny and Dragoon, but uh, wait, how is he not considered a hero though? That is kind of odd. I was looking for a clause that basically said this is treated as a hero or something like that, but it's not. Yeah, okay. I will take it. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll take this. I'll take it. Hell yeah, that's the fifth. Fifth ultra rare. All right, I am going to be, I'm, I am being a jar of greed here. But one more Ultra and one more Heat Wave. Let's go. Dragon's Rebirth, Volcanic Shell. We got uh, four more packs. I think it's doable. I think it's doable. So this opening, we got one, two, three, four, five Ultra Rares. Last opening, it was like four or three Ultra Rares. So I think it's, yeah, it's definitely doable. Sinister Serpent, Crystal, Beast, Amethyst, Cat. All right. Heat Wave. Come on. Come on. Jinzo. Okay. Twin Hitted Behemoth. And an Exploder. Exploder Dragon. Two more packs. Ooh. No, we got this. We got this. I was. I'm not doubting myself. We got this, boys. Jinzo. Sinister Serpent. And Machine Angel Ritual. We got one more pack, though. One more pack. Heat Wave plus Ultra Rare. Let's go. Sword Soul of Dragon. Some uh, that's no, it's not. Ah, Desert Twister. Still get an Ultra Rare though. Still get an Ultra Rare. Uh, could be Wall of Disruption or Jar of Greed. Damn. All right, we were greedy. We were greedy. That's a sign. That's letting us know, yo, you are being greedy. That is it, boys. That, I mean, that's not bad. How many heat waves? Five? Five heat waves. And um, let's see. Five heat waves, wasn't it? Didn't I say four or five ultras? One ultra, Destiny and Dragoon. Two plasmas. So that's, we're at three here. I'm also trying to see if the edges are nice. Because in speed duel, the, uh, the tournament packs, speed duel packs, the edges of the cards sometimes don't come in as uh, as good as they should. We got one elemental hero, Wild Hearts, and then a wall of disruption. That is the video, though, guys. Make sure you guys leave a like. If you enjoyed, probably going to be buying some more of this, maybe because I am a, a jar of greed at heart. And I was, I was actually kind of looking at Speed Duel 7, Tournament Pack 7, 
it doesn't look that good. So I might open up another one of this or another one of Tournament Pack 6 because I just have more fun with hero stuff. Catch you guys in the next one.